conceded. And Barney scored. It's a good goal from Leicester. Yo, what's up, guys? It is better. Welcome back to another video. Today it's Sheffield Wednesday versus Leicester City on a Tuesday night in Leicester at the King Power Stadium. And uh, yeah, it's a massive game for the Owls. I say massive. Uh, we're not really expecting too much from this game, but we are playing the league leaders away from home. So pretty much our hardest game of the season. We can't really expect to get anything from today. But, you know, we can always hope. Always going to turn up just in case. And it is a new ground for me. And that's partly why the reason I'm, mainly one of the reasons why I'm here. Um, obviously, we've been a little out of form lately. But after the Friday night win against Birmingham at home, we are uh, slightly veering back onto the hopefully the right path. And if we're lucky today, we might be able to get something. But, you know, Leicester are on top form. You know, they can't stop winning at the moment. Uh, they're absolutely flying at the top of the league. So, really, I'm not expecting much. But it would be it would be nice if we managed to get something from today. I'm probably going to go with a... I'm going to go with a 2-0 Leicester scoreline, I reckon. Uh, probably won't get a goal. Uh, I hope, I'm hoping they just don't humiliate us today. I'm assuming they're probably going to win, but hopefully, we, yeah, we just don't get absolutely decimated. But yeah, let's move on to my predicted lineups. Right then, guys, on the left here is my predicted lineup for the game. And I've gone for in goal, James Beadle, obviously. Uh, back four of um, Dame Woe, uh, Dijon Bernard, Johnson, and Paul Valentin. I'm hoping that the hopefully Fame Woe uh, will be able to. I mean, he came off a l looking a little, little. Uh, wobbly injured but hopefully i'm assuming he should be fine and ready again because he's a uh, i think I, in my opinion a lot better than hekwa and then bannon and uh, volks in the midfield and then a front four of Paveda, ike Ugbo, yusama and gadamachi up front so yeah that's my uh, that's my predicted lineup team hopefully it's uh, accurate and hopefully they do play that i feel like we should just bring a high pressing team to leicester again because you know they do like to uh, just play out from the back, play it slowly. They can, they have the quality to just play it around us. So hopefully uh, we can just bring that to them and uh, catch them on the, on, the, on the front foot, hopefully. If you guys want to get involved and get yourselves on the Fan Hub like me, and predict lineups, also predict games for the week and check into games when you get to them to earn fan feed points to spend on the Fan Hub store, then make sure to hit that link down in the description, download Fan Hub and use my golden ticket code on the screen right here. And uh, that will skip the queue on the app and get you straight on. No fuss, no bother. Right, let's move on to Danny Rolls' team. And then, guys, as you see on the left here again, is Danny Rolls' team for the Owls. And um, in goal, we have got James Beadle. We've got a back four of uh, Hequa, uh, Dijon Bernard, Johnson and Valentin. So I was one off, basically. I, I was close. I was one off in the back line there. Uh, unfortunately, Fame Woe doesn't make the squad. Seems to probably be out injured. Uh, Heckma takes his place. Hopefully, he's not too clunky on the ball. We need fast moves on the ball because, you know, Leicester are a fast side. They're going to come at us. So, hopefully, you know, you don't make any mistakes today. And then we've got Bannon and Volks in our midfield. And uh, the front four is, as I predicted, Pervader, Kadamantri, Ike Obu and Yasama. So, yeah, looks good to me. I'm happy with that team. On the bench for the Owls, we have got... Uh, there, Charles, Inet, uh, Sequeira, Palmer, Bambo Diaby, James, Wilkes, Masaba, Fletcher, and Smith. So, yeah, the bench is a little, you know, uh, still no Windass, it seems. And uh, obviously, uh, Mo Mo Momo Diaby is uh, newly out injured as well. So, we're, we're, we're lacking a little bit of depth on the uh, bench. So, Hopefully we don't have to resort to the bench to uh, really help us out if we're getting absolutely just destroyed. But yeah, hopefully, as I said again today, we don't get destroyed. You know, we can have a respectable night in uh, Leicester and uh, maybe even take some points off the league leaders. But yeah, let's head over to the King Power Stadium and uh, come on the Owls. Come on!
The white away kick. Volks didn't do too great with it, but there's nothing really to do in that situation. And uh, we've kind of fucked ourselves now. I don't see us getting back in this already. But you can only hope. So far, it's, it's been an absolute snooze for us since it's scored. Uh, yeah, it's just pretty shit. I mean, my Leicester player on Man City is passing it, keeping the ball. They're the nice score, yeah? Nah. Away, away! Lovely. But yeah, we just have not had the ball at all. It's been, yeah. No one's marking. What a fuck! Jesus, man, catch it! Tell yourself. Man. And Barney scored. It's a good goal from Leicester. We pressed a bit too hard, maybe, and uh, yeah, they just completely broke our press and scored. Yeah, it's two 0 and that's that's game done. Let's hope it doesn't get embarrassed. Foul and then he let it play for three seconds and then put it back. What is he doing? Yeah, half time. Uh, we, sh we, we, we sh deserve to be losing. I think fans aren't a bit disappointed that we're losing. I think everyone expects us to lose, but we're just not playing that good, especially first half an hour. But it's starting to turn a little. So hopefully, second half's better. Come on, players out second half. Hopefully, that ball. And we made that first half sub. Palmer is on for Ogbao, it looks like we're going for a free midfield, thank God. Come on, 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 for him. He was doing well against the part of Pereira. Yeah. Hopefully, we start with this one. Come on, man. Go away, stay! Go away, stay! Go away, stay! Change his position here. Come on, lad. Come on. Good save. Taking off Kadamari and Pereira for uh, Michael Smith and Malik Wilkes. So, uh, yeah, not great, especially Malik Wilkes. Pereira's been good. I like Pereira, but Malik Wilkes is fucking. I don't even want to say. Why think about him? Hopefully, he redeems himself and uh, proves me wrong. But I seriously doubt it. Go on in there, Smith. Oh, he's got to connect better with that. But unlucky. Masaba. Oh! Referee! Thank you! Come on! Come on, buddy! Come on, Very buddy! Come on! Oh, red! Come on again! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh, fuck! I thought 
football that was in. Jesus, man. You actually done quite well, well there. In there, Johnson. Shoot, Shoot Bannon. Oh. They just passed it back and I'm it. That is literally a pass back. Oh my God. I've got to have believe the ref has not seen that. Play him. Oh, oh. oh. oh my God. Why do you not play anyone? Fuck's sake, Masaba. Dushan Bernard coming off for Bamboo the Army. I mean, probably coming off for like headers and stuff. I don't know. We haven't really got much else on the bench. So. I find it mental at 2 0. There are more Leicester fans leaving. We are 2 0 down and 23 to lose. Just listen to this atmosphere. 2 0 down, 88th minute. Time 2 0 and the owls are in full voice. I love you Wednesday, but if it's quite alright, I love you Wednesday. Cause I'm a Wednesday, I'd love you Wednesday. Trust in me when I see. Unfortunate today. I thought we were a really poor first half, we deserved to lose, but second half, we were the better side in my opinion. Had the most of the chances, we were just unlucky with how they fell and how we took them. But I think we can be proud of that performance. We did well against the league leaders. Oh, obviously, the Premier League side, they're going to be in Premier League next season. Again, Millwall, Saturday away. Come on. We go again next week, boys. Come on. Right then, guys, back from the game now, and um, a bit of a strange feeling. We lost 2 0, but it feels like we've just come out, you know, getting a point from Leicester. You know, some great full time scenes there from the Owls, some great support. Uh, you know, just showing the lads that, you know, head up onto Saturday. They're a great side, obviously, Leicester. First in the league. They absolutely destroyed us first half. But in the second half, we came out a different side. You know, we came out challenging. We were a lot better. We probably uh, actually had quite a lot more of the ball. Uh, most of the chances as well, second half. And uh, I thought we were a better side second half. I mean, if we played like that whole game, from, from minute one, if we played like that, I think we would have deserved at least a point today. But it's just a shame that first half we came out uh, quite a lot differently than the way we finished the game. Um, but, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Uh, you're never going to always win against Leicester City, especially when they're first in the league um, in the championship. You know, you just got to move on from it and uh, push on for Millwall away on Saturday. Now that is a big game. You know, Millwall just outside relegation zone, so... You know, this is a massive game for us uh, to, to prove our away form. Hopefully another Stoke kind of away game uh, where we get like a nice little scabby last minute winner. That'd be lovely. Um, but yeah, honestly today, uh, I think uh, we were quite poor first half. I, no, no real positive, but everyone looked much better second half. So no real massive complaints for any of the boys who played today, to be honest. And uh, they all actually looked to play well and we gave him a big clap off at the end. So yeah, overall today, fairly positive. So bear in mind the circumstances that we lost, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed that one, please make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe if you need to my channel. Also, hit that bell icon to get notified every time I upload. That's meant for me. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.